next. That's the question a lot of people are asking today all across Indiana on the issue of civil rights for the LGBT community. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is back from Indianapolis where he's been following this debate all week. And Patrick, no one really seems to have an answer about what will happen now. Yeah, Rick, House Speaker Brian Bosma said that the issue of civil rights won't be taken up in the House. So for now, conversation's over. But one thing Republicans and Democrats agree on is this issue is not going away. Almost as soon as the bill banning discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation died on the floor of the Senate, the question became, what happens now? We'll come back to the drawing board. We'll try to learn more about the issue. Uh, I think people would be better educated about it by having gone through this process, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, they missed this chance, but they doesn't, that doesn't mean they've missed it forever. Uh, there will be more legislative sessions, and my hope is uh, they don't waste any time during the next one to come together and frame something that uh, works for everyone. Buttigieg is the current president of the Indiana Urban Mayor's Caucus, and had hoped that the General Assembly would have followed the lead of South Bend and other cities in Indiana that passed their own human rights ordinance. Uh, the state could learn that a lot of the uh, worst things that are said to come about from these bills never materialize, and uh, it, those kinds of fears aren't justified. We reflect the entire state. A lot of these ordinances have been passed in cities, large cities, our largest cities are mostly the ones that have these, and uh, that that may have something to do with it. Long also pointed out that nearly 40% of Indiana lives in a city or town that has some degree of LGBT protections. He said that could grow to nearly 50% by the end of the year. But Buddha Judge and others don't buy that argument. But the idea that it's okay to fire somebody in one part of the state because of who they are and not in another part of the state, I think it just goes against most of our intuitions about justice. Senator Long has said he hopes that the General Assembly continues this discussion and manages to pass something next year. He thinks civil rights protections are inevitable with questions whether they'll come from the legislature or from the courts. And he hopes it winds up coming from the legislature so they can include protections for religious freedom. And Rick, he says if they do come from the courts, legislator won't have much of a say at all. Patrick, thank you. The battle over religious 